often in a big pottery jug. Then Opa would pour in his special mixture with wild herbs and garlic. Sundays. It is a most restful, satisfying pursuit. That well, used to be. But I'd heard it was to be protected, so as to ensure a supply of tall oaks for the Royal Navy, no doubt. Ah, uh, no, thanks. I was in my steps until quite late last night. I am feeling a little bit delicate today, but tomorrow, yeah. Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. <laughs> 